Guy, I got a big surprise for you today. Come on. What do you got? We got Brad Hargraves, drummer for Third Eye Blind and huge Fast Money fan on with us today. Brad, you hear? That's unbelievable. What's happening, Brad? Welcome. Hey, man. It's good to see you guys. I'm going to let people in on a dirty little secret is that no matter who we're talking about, we could be talking about Kanye, we could be talking about the president, we could be talking about anybody. Guy will often refer to the fact that big fan of the show, by the way, big fan of the show. Hey, and, yeah. and but but in your case, I mean, you're a big fan of the show. And, yeah. and, and uh, unlike most of these people that, that are wannabes, um, you've been down to the set, you've watched us do our thing. Um, how, how long would you say the past money has consumed you, my man? <laughs> oh, uh, I've been obsessed with YouTube I don't know, going back, uh, I don't know, I mean, seven or eight years. I, I actually, uh, how did, I met you guys through Guy. I think I DM'd yeah. you on, yeah. or, or I replied to a, a Twitter thing and then you hit hit me up on, and you're like, Hey, uh, you know, how you doing? And then we kind of, and then, and then I came down to the set and then, you know, and then Tim's a drummer. I don't know if a lot of people know that probably. Do. Yeah. We got, we're going to get, we're going to get into that. Um, cause there's, yeah. there's, there's, so, there's kind of a situation building here that we need to, we need to, funny but, drum off? well, no. we're, we're going to get there. Um, but, but, but what I also need to, to admit is that guy, um, you told me like, yeah, I heard from the, the, Drummer from Third Eye Blind, man, and and I quickly glommed on, like like I was, <laughs> yeah. I, I I made it clear. I'm like, dude, I love Third Eye Blind. Um, I've been listening to these guys from day one. Uh, by the way, you guys are what about three years away from a 30 year anniversary, but we'll get to that too. Uh, oh yeah, more than a yes. few years. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, uh, three. Come on, man. I mean, you're closer to 30 than you are to 20. Um, no, well, we had 20. 2017 was 20, so. All right, now, now I'm looking yeah, yeah. silly, but, but hold on a second. Yeah. When, now, now that I've been corrected in public, when, when did the self-titled Third Eye Blind album come out? It came out in 1997. Okay, I've been corrected in public. I remember hanging out, I think, at the 2017 20th anniversary tour. I was out on the pier in New York. I think, I yeah. think you, I'm pretty sure you came. Dude, I, 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 I was there. I had, like, I had my laminate. I had, like, backstage, like, access and whatnot. It was, yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was bad. He was a big guy, but the uh, guy is a very busy guy on the weekends. With the but, I mean, I would be honest with you. So, I, you guys, you're a great band, great musicians. You're a ridiculous drummer. But, you know, I'm, I'm more, you know, a Zeppelin guy. You know, the, the whole, you know, <laughs> you guys were skating in lanes that I probably was not cool enough to be in. But I'll say this. When I saw you reached out on Twitter, followed me on Twitter, I, the first thing I did was show Tim. I'm like, can you believe this? This is the coolest thing. Um, it's always shocking to us that people like you, and I say that, it, I, I mean it. It's amazing that you're into the show. So why did you, did you just sort of watch one day and got hooked? I mean, what drew you to Fast Money? I think someone, uh, someone told me about the show, and uh, he was doing some more like technical trading and more, you know, more trading for it. I'm, I'm a long term. Was, it, was know, that Eddie Vedder? Was that Eddie Vedder that no, told you about it? No, us? it wasn't Eddie. Um, who was it? Uh, <laughs> I got turned on to it through him, and then, you know, you guys are just, you guys are fun uh, personalities to watch, and it was just, inter it's entertaining. It's an entertaining show, and, uh, you know, I, I don't trade a lot, so I'm just looking for more like ideas for like a long-term investing. But uh, you know, back then it was before I had kids. I had a lot more free time. I could you know watch TV for an hour or uh, you know. Yeah, you have more money to invest. I mean, let's be clear. Uh, you know, kids have a way a way of doing that. I mean, that's not as yeah. I've done better actually since then, but that's just you know that's a total anomaly. And and then it all ended this year, of course. Now I'm retired, so there you go. Well, you're not retired, so let's let's go right into what what is the life of, of a rocker when every tour has been canceled? Um, you guys were supposed to be. I was going to your show at Radio City. I think it was March 31st. Yeah. Um, and that was canceled. Oh, we we're looking forward to that. So, talk to me about first of all, how are you guys planning the next couple of years? Are you truly just kind of wait and see mode? Um, and what what is what are guys in the band doing, man? I mean, are, are you are like you know? It, it, people is, is Steven off surfing somewhere like what what's happening he, right he's now? he's actually at home he's got a beach house just north of uh san francisco so he's out there yeah he actually is surfing a lot and uh i went out and bought a tree today i'm i, I this all hit in the middle of this giant backyard project i'm doing I, like eight month backyard redo do everything so I, I was at a nursery buying a tree today and what would you buy california red bud i think it was called nice 
And, and are you digging? You know, you doing this all yourself? Do you have, do you no, have workers? No, no. You got no, your no. son out there already? You know. What I mean? oh, <laughs> No, but you know, the worst thing is like, you know, he's been cooped up inside this house while we've had no backyard for all of quarantine. So it's been, uh, that's been interesting as well. Well, the, 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 the backyard projects are extraordinary, but um, so what, what are you doing? What are you doing drumming wise? And are you, are you, uh, do you have a set in the house? What do the neighbors think about that? Are you have a studio? Do you go to a studio? How, how, would you consider yourself in game shape right now, or do you, you feel like you need some spring training? I mean, what, what's what's happening? I need spring training. Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, you know, I don't believe that we're going to be touring be until summer 2021. I mean, I, I I really don't see that happening. So you know, that's that's 12 months from today, which is kind of hard to wrap your head around. So um no man i haven't been playing much drums I, I have a little practice pad kit in the living room and i have a drum set and a studio in uh, another part of my house but no i just i don't know i'm not that inspired to play and practice when i know that i don't have a performance because that's that's kind of like the, the impending event that i get up for to uh, put the work in guy you wanted to i know you had a question about uh, the band its name stuff like that i mean just you well, know. i think it's one of the great names in rock and roll history number one we won't get into the specifics but it's a fantastic name i'm always fascinated by the dynamics of a band and i'm not looking to get into the nitty-gritty the dirt but you guys have been together as you mentioned a long time you've probably known each other close to 30 years is it is it brotherly is it just is it best friends I or mean, is it a vh1 music special that's you know Kind of a soap opera. Oh, I mean, you know, if you know anything about our band, it's been a soap opera. There's been, uh, you know, we've had people come and go in the band, and you know, the singer and myself are the only two. Are, yeah, are, you're a constant. And it's brotherly in the sense that we're not really friends; we're brothers. Like he is my family now. Like I spent, I've spent so much time with Stephen over the years that, like, I got his back. He's got my back. You attack him, and I'm on you. He's the same way. Um, but you know, we 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 hang out a lot. We're we're on the road. You know, up till now, we were on the road. I don't know, probably four or five months a year. We'd be with each other. So like living with each other. You know? so yeah. I think brotherly is is the way to actually to actually say it best. As you evaluate the rock and roll scene now, I mean, just you know, we've talked about the business and music. Any any observations, whether it's you know, COVID related, whether it's, you know, how artists are, are doing now versus when you guys started. I mean, like when you guys launched, I mean, you know, I, I have four CDs, by the way, there's one, there's one left you still need to sign. Um, he's, I made him sign three when he came down. I know you guys have about six, seven, um, but, but what, what do you see as, as the, the musical rock and roll? And, and I worry about the bands that are just getting started. Say they've just released a record, they're a new band and they need to get on a, a tour opening for somebody or need to do their own headline tour to make you know get get a couple grand in their pockets for the month to make you know make their rent or whatever yeah. and that avenue of both promotion and a little bit of money to survive that's been shut off and there's a lot i mean i know some guys that are in bands in that position and it's going to have an effect. It's going to, uh, you know, there's going to be some guys that are going to be, uh, you know, working at Starbucks and they're not going to be coming back, you know? Maybe we should be buying Starbucks stock because yeah. uh, they're going to, it's going to, well, dude, if you got rockers there that are hip dudes uh, as your barista, and it's kind of, it's kind of like the vibe that Starbucks gets. I don't know. I just had a friend over last night. We were talking about that. And uh, it's, it's, it's going to be a weird time. It will, it's going to have ramifications that's going to, that are going to unfold over the next few years but at the same time think about the party in 2021 say they get a vaccination or uh, or a meaningful therapy and people can go with confidence and be around each other again what kind of party is going to be happening out there it's going to be in rager it's going to be amazing yeah we're touring we're talking stocks with brad hargraves drummer for third eye blind when we come back